All right, take a moment, solve this problem, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, they want us to algebraically prove that, let's write this down here, this expression is equal to this one right here, where x is not equal to negative 2, because if x was negative 2, this would be undefined, and so would this. Think about that, right? You have negative 2 cubed plus 8. Well, what's that? That would be negative 2 cubed is negative 8 plus 8 is 0, and then 1 divided by 0, and x cubed plus 9 divided by 0 would be undefined. Right, so that's why they're telling us this here. Um, now, in order to get full credit, I, I don't like this question. I can't think why this mathematically would not work. Um, let me just erase this. What I did when I first solved this is I multiplied everything by x cubed plus 8 on both sides and then showed that both things are equal on both sides. But this would not be allowed uh, on the regions. And I can't think why it would be a problem. I, if, please, if you have an example, let me know where multiplying both sides by x, x cubed plus 8 or something like that would come up with a false proof that this equation is true. Um, but their idea, and I get what they're saying, if you really want to show that the left and the right side are equal, what you would traditionally do is take one of the sides and just keep messing with it until you get the other side. Now, what I'm going to first do is actually pick the right-hand side. I think it's much easier to work with. Then I'll show you a way to deal with the left-hand side. So 1 plus 1 over x cubed plus 8. I need to show that it equals this fraction here. And I like this approach because what's the only thing I can do? Well, I feel like the only thing I can do is rewrite 1 as x cubed plus 8 over x cubed plus 8. Right? I should rewrote this part here. And I use x cubed plus 8 because x cubed plus 8 is our denominator that we need to add our two fractions. Remember, we need equal denominators. And these two things over each other is just 1. So I know I'm now going to rewrite this as 1, which is this fraction right here, plus 1 over x cubed plus 8. When we add our fractions, we just add those numerators, and that's x cubed plus 8 plus 1, or plus 9, over x cubed plus 8, and we're done. right? So we show that the two sides are equal only by manipulating the right-hand side. We can also do that on the left-hand side. This one's a little bit harder to see for me. Um, here, another common algebraic trick, actually, is to add and subtract the same amount to your expression, because then you wouldn't be changing it. And we need to show this is somehow related to the right-hand side. And you could do that if you say well, x cubed plus 9, and then you will say, well, how about minus 1 plus 1? Now, minus 1 plus 1, that's just 0. It's not going to change anything. And this, actually, is helpful because what we get is x cubed plus this is 8 9 minus 1 is 8 x cubed plus 8 plus 1 over x cubed plus 8 and then if we kind of split up our numerator we get x cubed plus 8 over x cubed plus 8 and then also 1 has to be divided by x cubed plus 8 right x cubed plus 8 and this right here, anything divided by itself is 1, plus 1 over x cubed plus 8 is the other side of our equation. So they're equal. Now you might say, so both sides are equal. Or when you reach these points, and you don't need to show both, but when you reach this right here, right, you could show maybe this, right, and say, therefore, these two things are equal. Or highlight this one, let me pick a different color. Right? When you show this chain, you might say in words, they don't ask you to explain, but I don't want to give them any reason to think I don't know what I'm talking about. You would say one, show this one, or this one, therefore both sides are equal. You don't need to show both. All right, hope that helps.